like the old saying goes, you can't win them all. Not all your sales efforts will be successful. Rejection or the R word goes with the territory. The quicker you learn to accept it, the better off you'll be. Now here's some ways to stay motivated and deal with rejection. Nobody likes dealing with rejection. It's not that selling is intimidating, scary, life-threatening, or that you're afraid to talk to people. It's just that we hate being turned down. And the best way to deal with rejection is to accept it. Understand that it's not personal, just a business decision. Prospects aren't telling you that you're a failure as a human being, that you're a worthless incompetent, an overall loser, or that you've no right to exist. All they're saying is that, hey, not now. Here's some ways that I deal with rejection that may help you. First, surround yourself with positive thoughts. I carry a card that lists personal affirmations and motivational thoughts into every sales call that I make. On one side, the card lists the things that I'm most thankful for, my health, my family, my friends. On the other side are a few quotes that inspire me. If it's to be, it's up to me. Or, never, never give up. Choose whatever keeps you motivated. When making sales calls, remember, the world is filled with cynics, losers, and other people who are very quick to criticize and want to pull you down. But you know what? That's their problem, not yours. So learn to ignore them. When I started my company, so many people around me told me I would fail. They said the economy is terrible, unemployment is high. Why would companies want to do business with me and more? I didn't listen, and all these years later, I've never regretted my decision or my choices. There are always winners, and there are always losers. Rest assured, if you're watching this lesson, you're a winner. One of the best illustrations of maintaining a positive attitude, which is an utmost necessity when facing rejection, comes from that wonderful child's bedtime story, The Little Engine That Could, by Waddy Piper. So maybe it's been too long that you've heard the story, so let me give you a short synopsis. A wee little steam engine faces a daunting task. The little steam engine has to pull an overstuffed train load of noisy toys and highly perishable candy over a really steep mountaintop. And it has to get to some isolated kids in a village on the other side. To my knowledge, there weren't any odds makers or bookies betting on this, but if there were, it looked pretty bleak for that little engine. So, how is this tiny little engine going to make it? The little engine had a confident attitude saying, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. It never gave up never doubted itself and kept pulling and pulling while saying, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Sure enough, after a lot of pulling and even more verbal redundancy, the little engine pulled the train over the mountaintop and arrived at the village on the other side. The little kids were ecstatic. They got new toys and now had enough candy and sugar to rocket propel themselves over the mountaintop without the little engine. But seriously, the story's message is clear. If you believe that you can do it, you most certainly will. Finally, if I haven't made you feel better yet, remember that sales professionals are the true champions of the business world. Marketeers, financial guys, and other executives talk real tough, but it's the salespeople that are the front line. Without salespeople, there is no business, no revenues, and none of us have jobs. So take heart. Rejection hurts, but everyone depends on you. Salespeople, you rock!